Uh oh. everyone and welcome back to another episode of Tommy Mac Fishing. Now in today's adventure I'm out in a lake in Melbourne um, that is absolutely chock full of weed and grass and all that sort of thing. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to walk you through my process of fishing that um, to maximize your time out on the water. If you'd like to learn a bit more follow along today and um, hopefully I can teach you a thing or two. Oh my god. Rod nice and high, keep his head up. Come out of the weed, clunked it once, missed it, pulled it out of its mouth, and saw this thing just swim up behind it. I killed the lure. He ate it like less than a rod length out from the boat. Uh-oh. Shit. Head up. Oh, that's a big fish. Oh, that's real big. Come on. Stay up. Trying to keep his head up. Oh, that's the next cast. No! <laughs> Far out. That was big. Oh, that's another good fish. Sitting there shaking his head. Oh, he's on the top. His head's up. Come on, stay up, stay up, stay up, stay up, stay up, stay up. Oh, God. Oh, God. Come on. He's got a kilo of weed on him. Come on. Be good. Be good. Be good. Let's try it to the boat now. Oh, he's not that big. Oh. <laughs> oh shit, making me work hard, that's for sure. All right, that's fish number two in the boat today. Uh, just dropped a big one, two casts before. Um, and I've said it, said it before and I'll say it again. I love the color of fish out of weed. They just go that beautiful bronze color. Just helps them hide, tuck away, and uh, just become the perfect ambush predator, so. This one's not that big, but God, they're pulling hard for their size. Nice big bellies, and he's just crunched that Z-Man grub on a hidden weight jig head, which is real critical for this sort of fishing, and I'll talk about that in a minute. All right, so to give you a bit of an idea of what I'm doing, I've got this massive flat out in front of me, but it's absolutely covered in weed, which makes it really, really hard to fish. You can see it as I sort of pan my camera around. There's a heap of weed all through here, and just in front of me here, I've got this maybe 10 meter circle um, that I've been catching a couple of fish out of that just has um, that's just a nice clear patch So what I'm doing today is I'm targeting these clear patches between the weed. They're not big pockets I can't just bomb a cast out as far as I can. Uh, I have to be really precise with a cast um, And most of them have a nice steep edge on them So it's weed and then it's gonna drop off now. I'm sitting in about a meter and a half of water a 128th hidden weight grub okay so what that allows me to do is it's got a really nice slow sink okay anything heavier than that you can fish up to about a 20th um, but you don't want to fish too much heavier because what happens is it will bury itself in the weed you want a nice slow and horizontal sink and that's where the hidden weight system um, jig head comes into it because it gets that horizontal sink which means that as it's sinking okay it's not like a traditional jig head which goes head first with the lead at the front and buries into the weed 
this sinks horizontal and if it gets caught on weed it's actually going to sit on top of it not plow through and get all snagged up so that's definitely the benefit of fishing this hidden weight jig head um, in these sort of patches now it's about a meter and a half deep um, and it does take me a little bit to sink my bait down so what i'm doing is i'm just casting there's a patch of weed just up here so what i'm doing is i'm sort of casting it in keeping my line relatively low to the water because i do have a bit of wind behind me today and all i'm doing is i'm keeping my line semi-tight as it's sinking okay and what that does is my line stays nice and tight while it's sinking okay and as soon as it's on the bottom that line will go slack now because i've got enough tension in my line see it's on the bottom now because it's just gone slack um, and because I've got just a slight bit of tension in my line, if I get a bite on, on the drop, I'll feel it straight through my rod um, because these miller rods are super sensitive. And that's pretty much all I'm doing, just fishing really slow. Once it's on the bottom, giving it a couple of hops, bringing it back slowly through this deep pocket. Once you twitch it, give it time to sink. When it's on the bottom, just go again nice and slow. And that's pretty much all I'm doing to work my way through this weed here. Nice tight line as it's sinking, uh, slack on the bottom, a couple of twitches. I can wind him across the top of the weed. That's how we do it. Little fella. Um, they brim. Brim? Yeah. I'll show you. That's one there. Oh, I've got a cool. Jesus! Oh. Yeah. Everywhere! Uh, yeah. So there are... Um, there's like no weeds up there or anything? Nah, it's just the, just the same as this. Take a couple of these. Yeah, yeah. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Okay. Just throw those little things around. Do you want a couple more? Oh, uh, yes. Let's see if I've got some. Oh, here you go. Okay. Here's another. Okay. Oh, yep, yep, yep. So that's what they look like. So, what you want to do is there's, there's some deep water over there. You can fish all through here, but. Um, it can be a little bit tricky. I'll fish off the bank a few times and catch these. Yeah. I'll try and get it there. I'm going to throw it a bit higher because the wind. Oh, perfect. Sweet, easy. Just like so go throw those around. Good. You two boys, go out and catch a few. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Let me know how you go. Feels big. I put the pole. Uh oh. 
hole. This thing has buried me. <laughs> I think we're in trouble here. Check out the amount of lettuce this fella come with. It's absolutely buried me in a big pile that looked exactly like that. Donkey. Oh, that's big. No, 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 no. Oh, shit. Let's get in there. No. Up your dog. Coming. <laughs> oh, that's big. Oh, you're not even. Oh, he's big, but he's not huge. He's just got a kilo of lettuce on him. What is that? Do you know what that is? It's it's like a flooded and a grass like mixed together. Just wrapping up my day now, um, just tucked out of the sun because it was, it was starting to get pretty warm. So I um, managed to land probably 20 odd fish today. Um, all of them were caught on a hidden weight system, Z-Man motor oil grub um, on either a 28th or a 20th. Now, look, I said it a couple of times today, but I'll just reiterate because I think it's super important that when you're fishing weed, especially shallow water weed, and when it's really, really thick, um, it's really important to make sure that you're fishing a hidden weight system jig head um, because you want that horizontal fall so it doesn't plummet um, through the weed. So um, thank you guys for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed something and make sure you get out and grab yourself a couple of packets of uh, Z-Man motor oil grubs and some hidden weight system hooks. Stay safe and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.